great. We're out in a truck. Whenever you get a winch with a synthetic rope line on it, it's good practice to spool it out and retention it. That will make sure that the wraps on the drum are tight and that way the rope can't get caught or pinched between the wraps and get damaged. Here's the kit that you're gonna need to pre-tension your rope. A pair of leather gloves. You should always wear gloves if you're using a winch. A winch controller, a three quarter inch shackle, and a tree saver. Put these over here. We're gonna do this really quickly because it's cold out here. I back the truck up away from the anchor point and now I'm gonna release the rope and I'm gonna pull it out until there are about 10 wraps left on the drum. And when you get to the end on the worn synthetic ropes, you'll see a red leader to let you know you're getting there. Absolutely perfect. Pull the rope out until there are about 10 wraps left on the drum. So can you film in here as I'm pulling? No, what are you doing? Well, I want a visual of the 10 wraps, please. No. They'll figure it out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to attach the rope to the anchor point and then we'll go back to the truck and I'll show you what to do next. Clearly, I thought I grabbed a tree saver, but this is a little bit longer. Longer is always better. Now I'm going to re-engage the clutch and we're going to back the truck up to put tension on the rope. Uh, because I'm on my own, I have to drive the vehicle and control the winch at the same time. So I pass the winch controller through the window, which will allow me to use the winch controller and keep a steady pressure on the brake to keep tension on the rope. Start winding the rope in. I'm going to do a few wraps and then I'm going to put the vehicle in park and turn the engine off and go and check to make sure it's spooling onto the drum well. So what I'm doing is getting out, checking to make sure that the rope is spooled on the drum correctly. And then I get back in, I take the parking brake off, keep my foot lightly on the brake, the vehicle's in neutral, and we use the winch controller to pull the vehicle in until there's about eight feet left on the winch rope. So this rope's falling on the drum nicely, but if you find that that's not happening, disengage the clutch, pull the rope back out until it's untangled, back the truck up until there's tension, and rewind that piece of rope. When you get to about eight feet, you wanna stop, put the vehicle in park, put the parking brake on, but leave the engine running, because when you're using the winch, you want the engine running. And then we're gonna go unattach it from the anchor point and pull the last bit in by hand. Now I'm back in the warm garage. Remember, you need to do this every time you get a new winch with a synthetic rope. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please share it with your friends and hit subscribe to see more how-to videos.